Hybrid meetings have some challenges. When you have several people in a meeting space like this, the remote participants on the call sometimes have a hard time feeling connected or engaged with the people physically in the room. At NEAT, we've solved this problem by visually bringing the participants in the room closer to the remote participants. Let me show you what I mean. When there's only one or two people in a meeting space, it's not that big of a problem because we can zoom the camera in to make ourselves clear to the people on the far end of the call. It becomes a problem when there's more people in the space with us because then we have to zoom the camera out so that everyone can be seen. But when we do that, the camera gets further and further away and we all get smaller and smaller on the screen. That's when the remote participants start to feel disengaged and not connected to what's going on in the room. At NEAT, we solve this problem using people finding artificial intelligence and video compositing to bring all of the people in the room closer to the remote participants. And this is a feature that we call NEAT Symmetry. All right, so now we're in a video call, and here's the problem, just like we described it. We have a group in our meeting space here, and we had to zoom the camera out so that everyone can be seen in the hybrid meeting. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to engage our neat symmetry feature and show you how we make this experience a lot better for the people on the far end. And there you are, individual auto framing using neat symmetry. Our artificial intelligence people finding capability has looked at the room, seen where we are, and then individually auto framed us so that we can be seen much more clearly by the people on the far end. Now again, the great thing about the individual auto framing is that it tracks us each as individuals. So if we move around, we reposition ourselves, that frame is actually gonna follow and make sure that we stay visible for the people on the far end without us having to do anything or touch any of the technology while we're in the meeting. That means we can behave however we want. We can do things like stand up and it's going to adjust to us, move about and behave however we want to behave. Now the other great thing about this is that our frames are actually oriented based on how we're actually sitting in the room. So if I turn and talk to her, it looks to you like I'm talking to her, and if I talk to her, the same. It looks like we're talking to each other. So you can follow the conversation and understand where people are sitting in the room, just like if you were joining us here in the room yourself. Now it will also adjust to the size of the crowd in the room. So if one of our coworkers is running late and joins us a few minutes after we've started the meeting, the technology will actually adapt, understand that there's another person in the room, and as soon as he takes his spot and settles, it's gonna show you a little reference shot of the room, and then it's gonna frame him up as well. Now the great thing about this is that it's giving you a much better experience on the far end of the call, but for us in the room, there's nothing that we have to do special in terms of our behavior or knowledge of the technology to make this work. That's why neat symmetry is so great and can be so transformational for your hybrid meetings in your organization. So another great thing about neat symmetry is that it can be calibrated for the specific space where you need it. So with subject boundary, we have a very intuitive interface that allows you to look and see what the camera is seeing in the room and what it recognizes as a person, which you can see represented by the green squares in this image. And so you can go and on your knee pad, using two simple sliders that adjust the width and the depth of the symmetry functionality, you can actually go and you can change the depth of the camera. So now all the individuals that are framed with a red square, you're telling symmetry, ignore those people. Don't frame them if you see them when you're in a video call. But the people who are in green, those people are the ones that you want to have in the call. So if you have a meeting space, again, where there's glass walls, you can have it ignore the hallway outside the glass. Or if you have a large meeting space where there are people outside the meeting space, executive assistants, et cetera, who are sitting along the walls, you can have symmetry just focus on the conference table. This is just another way that NEAT is allowing you to not just make use of the tools, but also fine tune them and offer that flexibility for the different types of spaces where you might want to use it.